look at is our uh, clock factor. So Duda is under one minute <sighs> and two and a half for Magnus. Now Duda has, like Dioc, been playing perpetually under the pressure of the ticking clock and not getting punished for it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think it's too much to ask, no? By the way, the move c5 inviting f5? <gasps> Why didn't he play f5? Not sure, but he allowed c6, which might be quite good for white. But wow, just a moment ago, wasn't there a peshki there? F5? F5, uh, perhaps a possibility, but after the move c5, he could have just played c6. Also. First blockading that pawn and then getting ready to play the move f5. Right, so Big just advantage for block if he had done C6. that. C six. Okay. Did not happen. He played knight b three, allowing C and the position's a bit of a mess, but still I gotta say I, I I'm still liking the two bishops. Me too, but that pawn on C six got in there and like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is a, a a bone in the throat, right? Yeah, Queen exactly. D six, bishop C five, but I'm playing for E five. Where is white's break? So again, I want to play queen d6, I want to play bishop c5, and I want to play e5. And if I'm Magnus, I'm feeling I'm playing for two results. It looks that way. Rook to b1. Dude is not looking very happy. No bishop c5, simply e5. And Magnus... No, now he's going to start playing on the king side, and black's I'm position liking is wonderful. It. I'm liking it. Wesley won his game against Diak. Important uh, to keep the pressure. Because he was on in the fourth place coming the, into this round. Right, on the, on the tournament leaders to and keep the pressure. I'm hearing Magnus's position is almost minus three. Wow. That's uh, no, I, 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 I really do like it for Magnus, and I was also looking at even the move F5, F4. Just reminding White. King is a little bit exposed. Your pieces on the queen side are, let's say, distant. He is playing on both sides, I feel like. He can play on a file if he wants to. He could play rook a8 right now. Right. And he can also play g5 or f4. I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling it on the king side, and I love this move f5, f4, and g5, as you said. Uh, just gaining some space, and this move f4 still looking like a really, really great move. I, I mean, f4, Var, sack. <laughs> Actually, the evaluation dropped, and looks like now Duda is getting some contra play because the b5 pawn is hanging, and this, this whole idea with g5, g4, maybe was just a little bit too slow here. He could have just played the move f4 immediately. Right. If you play the move f4 now, just g takes f4. And if I go rook f5, so rook, I'm looking rook at takes f4, b5. Rook, uh, rook takes b5, rook takes f4. I was hoping that I was going to go splat on the king side. Queen h4, activating the queen. Queen h4. And Magnus's clock is ticking away. Right, yeah, it's very unclear now, the position. Wow, I'm now. just going to uh, refresh my board, everybody. Do not panic. Where am I? Where am I? And we just so quickly, MBL also won his game. We do have F4 on the board. GF, Rook H5, not He's Rook just F5. Going for mate. <laughs> yeah. They do say that checkmate ends the game, <laughs> is the goal. But White could play Rook Queen takes and G3, B5. Right? He's done it. Rook takes F4. This was Magnus's. And the sacrifice of the Queen for the two Rooks. Whoa. We've seen this material imbalance Magnus throughout. I missed that throughout the tournament, but wait rook a minute. B5? Can I take rook b5 first? Rook b5, and there's a check on b1, and Magnus spotted it. Oh, but just rook f1. Yeah, because he took his <laughs> so rook. So you what? just exchanged the rooks in a very strange way. <laughs> um, but uh, the good news for Magnus's fans is this knight. Knight is bad, but Duda rook does takes? have an extra pawn. Well, there it goes. <laughs> if he did, I, I, yes. I didn't make. Did, I didn't make the count. <laughs> bishops of opposite color, color bishop. bishops. But is, is black still better, Bar? 
It's uh, it's equal at the moment. I think uh -huh. White will have some contraplay with that A file. Bishop A5. That was a good move. The frustrated uh, Duda there. You saw Duda kind of like smirking, like why did I? Ooh, G3. Why did I allow this? Wait a minute. Rook oh, wow. H2 and he check keeps and making moves with one second on the clock. Well, Duda. never mind that. But uh, I think he's, that's important. He he's losing. He's losing. You can't take on h5. Well, not yet, but if the king finally comes back to the game like it did. I don't know. This is looking really, really good for Magnus. With this time control, yes. Yes. Uh, and Magnus oh. is saying. h4 is gone, so. Bishop check. Rook check. Uh oh. I mean, definitely way easier to play this with black pieces. Of course, but... But if uh, it's actually winning, I'm not sure. Not sure either anymore. Jeez. Probably not. And if Duda saves this again... <laughs> it's just remarkable. I mean, he has more lives than an alley cat, I tell you. <laughs> uh, I thought maybe Bishop D2 check, just to kind of kick the king a little bit further away from the pawn. Oh. Oh. Magnus up a pawn again, so he has chances to win again. I think Duda just blundered that pawn. Most likely, but the, the rook on g5 is not making a great impression. Uh-oh, uh, it's, it's going to be one of those time <laughs> scrambles where the king comes to e3 so that you could go rook takes e4. Check. Oh, that's it's, a, it's feeling it's like it's winning. Yeah. King to d2 to e3 and maybe even rook f4, rook e4 was rook e4, yeah. yes, and then d3. Magnus exactly. His technique to win equal end games oh, yeah. is <laughs> unparalleled. King f1, king f1. Anyone else who does that? King f1 was almost a zugzwang. I wanted to say. I mean, there's almost checkmate also coming. He needs to sacrifice the rook for that bishop. That's the. That's the key. That's the key key idea here. And if I go g2. No, he didn't want to go. G2, I think just rook a2 check. It'll be just a lot of checks on a first Would and second Would be a lot round. of checks. Okay. Fair. And you know what he wants <laughs> to do. He's telegraphing his move of, of exchange check. sacrifice. And same now, story. Rook is coming to come to e8. Rook is coming to e8. It's not that direct because every time he threatens to take it, Duda moves his bishop. <laughs> Well, here it goes. Take okay, the bishop. He has to take it now. Take yes. the bishop. There we go. And Duda shaking his head as he's recognized he's he's in a losing position. D three, and Magnus rocks and rolls. It's the case where two pawns are better than a rook. Yeah, and wow. there it is. Magnus doing what he has to do. 